Hey my loves, today I have for you a tutorial featuring the Balm's Nude Dude Palette. This was the first time I've actually like played with this on the eyes. Um, the Balm sent me a little care package and it was the cutest thing in the entire world and this palette was what I was most excited for. This is the release or the sequel rather to the Balm's Nude Tude Palette and I'm assuming that they're kind of planning to make this like a naked trend where they're going to come out with sequel after sequel. Um, you know, I really think the Balm has great shadows and I think this was such a good palette and I just wanted to show you a look using it. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to go ahead and get into it and I really hope you all enjoy. My lids are already primed and I'm not wearing any foundation because I'm going to be doing quite a heavy smoky eye today. So I'm going to go into the Nude Dude palette. Ooh la la. On the Mojo Beauty E5 brush, I'm going to take the color Flawless and we're just going to brush this into the crease. Whatever is left on that brush, I'm just lightly bringing on to the lid and this will give a little bit more blending power in our favor later. We're going to move into this shade which is called Flirty and we're going to start to work this onto the outer corner of the eye so we're really placing it down on this outer V, bringing it into the crease. This is going to be the first of many layers of shades we're going to place on the lid. Now we're going to use the color Funny and we're going to start to put this into the outer corner and what we're going to do with this shade is bring it into the lid, but we're not going to bring it as far in as we did with Flirty. We're going to take the color Friendly. This is going to go into the very outermost corner, and we're going to really, really, really sculpt out this area with this darkest shade. Now we're just going to take a moment and blend this mess out. We're going to dip our brush into Friendly just one more time. Really lightly touch up the intensity right here in the outermost corner and then we'll blend again. On the innermost corner, we're going to take this matte color called Fearless and just pat that here. And I don't want to bring this shade in too far. Basically just placing this where we had no other product and then using the brush with basically all of it wiped off, we're going to lightly blend so it's not such a harsh transition. Now I'm going to do winged out liner using the NYX felt tip liner. real love-hate relationship with this because while it is really easy to get a good cat eye, as you can probably tell, it's not very black. So what I'm going to do is trace over it with my NYX Collection Noir Liquid Black Liner, which is the blackest liquid liner on the market. So I'm going to move on and do my foundation, my contouring, and my brows because I have routines for those that I will link below and I will be right back to finish everything off. I'm back and now I'm going to work on the lower lash line. First taking the color Flawless and on an angled Morphe G11 brush, we're just going to put this under that lower lash line. We'll start out here and work with what's left going into the inner corner. Now I'm going to take the color Funny. I'm going to start this in the outer corner and work this on to the first half of my lower lashes. Taking the color Friendly now, and this is obviously going to go into the very outer corner of the lower lash line. At this point, I can take a blending brush and lightly blend out this area. Now that the blending is done, I'm going to very lightly touch up my outer wing just with a bit of my blackest liquid liner. Now taking the shade Fearless once again on a small brush, I'm just going to use this on the inner corners of the eyes and then I'm going to take it on the brow bone for my brow bone highlight.
My brow gel is actually a bit damp, so I'm going to wait on putting it on the brow. Instead, I'll put on a bit of black liner to my inner rims, and this is from Morphe. This liner is impeccable. It's the blackest gel liner ever, and it will stay on your waterline for like 12 hours. So now I'm going to take a bit of that matte shade and just lightly pop that on the brow. We'll finish off the eyes in a moment, but for now let's get into the face. I'm going to use this NYX blush in the shade Amber, and I'm just going to pop that right on the face. Now using my favorite MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Light Scapade, I'm going to highlight the face. Now I'm going to really quickly set off everything just using Urban Decay's All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I went ahead and I curled my lashes and put on a tiny bit of mascara and now I'm putting on my Ardell 203 lashes. On the lips I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Fergie Velvet Matte Lip Color and this is in the shade Fashion Darling. It looks nothing like it does in the tube, what the heck? And the like consistency of it was horrible. Since my lip line is a bit off now, I'm just gonna quickly redefine it using the Perfect Lips Lip Liner. Over the top, I'm going to use the shade Matte Blissful from Milani. Me. If you did like it, give me a big old thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already. If you own this palette and you have some favorite combos, let me know in the comments down below. And until next time, I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye!